Oh, I'm dead. Dude, why are you looking at him? You. I'm dead. 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 <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Trash Boat, and today we're playing Fear to Fathom, the Iron Bark Lookout. So far, we've played the Carson House, Home Alone. We haven't gotten into the Norwood Hitchhiker, but we're gonna do that. Just means we got something to play. If you don't know anything about Fear to Fathom, Fear to Fathom is a horror-based game that's based on real-life events on each episode. So far, there's four. Iron Bark Lookout is the fourth episode. I'm super excited to jump into this, so let's go ahead and jump on in this jank. Oh, they got another one, too? Oh, Iron Bark Lookout. New game. Let's get it, baby boys and girl. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching on a YouTube play, Fear to Fathom's Carson House. Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. I feel kind of weird telling anybody about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I know that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Alright, what you talking about, bud? What you got going on? It's pretty cool that Fear to Fathom, like, I love watching, like, true crime stuff, but it's pretty cool that Fear to Fathom, like, takes that true crime stuff and makes it into games. I was about to say Jack Nicholson. <laughs> I, okay, I'm Jack Nielsen. <clears throat> I had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout station in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forest Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy a RV for my family with a, with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived out of my RV, I liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Oh sweet, We're driving. That's pretty cool, I didn't know you could drive. Oh yeah, Walter White status, baby! Got some tunes. Oh snap, about the crash. Uh, should I, should I be checking these? Oh God! Alright, uh, I'll read those when I get to where I'm going. I lived a very solitary life. Okay. Pretty sweet beat. It kept. Oh, I didn't get to read it. I was not expecting to be able to drive. Fuck, I'm going to the Overlook Lookout. Is that what it's called? I don't know. <clears throat> I always loved the great outdoors. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. Alright, I can agree with that. Let me not crash into a tree while I'm trying to read. I felt like I was at home in the woods. I'll read that in a second. I'm driving. Are my headlights on? I feel like I can't see nothing. Oh my... I got lag. I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Okay, I can... So here's the diner. Park in the back so I can just pull through. Handicap spot, what's up? Forget your broken legs. I got an RV. Always back park so you can leave in a hurry. Alright, how do I get out? Uh, space. Okay. Hold up, bud. Shut your hole. Cheat to throw. I'm gonna throw my bag at someone's mouth. 
Alright, let's go hit some food. I'm starving. Alrighty. Dude, is that as fast as I can run? What's up, bud? Smoking a cig? No, you're eating a sandwich. Okay. y'all got on the menu? Tube steak? My fave. <laughs> what is she, moonwalking? Okay. Welcome to the Twin Rivers Diner. How are you doing? Good. How about you? Uh, feel free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right with you. All right. Thank you. Oh, hold up. I always sit facing the door just in case someone comes in and decides to spray up the joint. You can be the first. Oh, man. The music is so loud. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. Uh, what do I want? So what can I get for you today? Cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings, meatball sub... Meatball sub. Meatball sub. Uh, I don't drink Coke. Uh, I don't drink coffee. I'll go with that. Uh, perfect. Anything else? I would like. Uh, that will be all. Thank you. Uh, that's the more polite answer. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it is done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Will do. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Go ahead and, uh... Okay. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. So he's telling me to get up and go pee. Pull out my little garden snake. Pissing on my bowels. <laughs> We don't hear bud. Flush that. All right, time to go get my food. I don't like this putting my back against the wall. Hold on, let me see if I can turn that off. It won't let me get up. My food. Meatball sub. Why is she walking so slow? Look at her knees. Hello, Barbara. Thanks. Just threw it at me. Meatball sub. It's gross sounding. Some nuggets. Uh, I figure it's been a while since I had a meal like this again. I definitely misread that. Oh, I forgot about the text messages. I'll check those in a second. I'll check them when I get back in the RV. Alrighty. Come on, Barbara. I'm ready to go. That's about how fast I eat in real life. <laughs> Uh, did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else, or should I get the check? Please, check please. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you. So far, just a normal day. Let's see how much this, how expensive this is. Seven dollars and six cent. How much money do I got? That's actually not bad at all. I wish I could get a meatball sub for six dollars, seven dollars. Um, I'll do fifteen percent tip. Uh, here's a check. Your total is seven dollars and sixty cent, or is that six cent? Whatever. 
I'll pay seven dollars six cent and fifteen percent tip. Hope you enjoy the rest of your ride. Thanks. All right. See you later. Oh, dude, I left <laughs> left my door open. Hello. Was someone's in there? Open it up. I guess I'll just read them right here. Uh, who's that? My mom. This is so like premium feeling. They did a really good job on this. Okay. My goodness, leave me alone. Alright. This new regional manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like yours. It definitely says you, like you. Uh, walking up, waking up with nature away from people and just getting paid to watch the wind go by. That is a pretty sweet job. I wish my job was really that easy, Kay. I'm honestly done with this job. Pretty sure joining you next season... Uh, like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need me to talk to Josh. Me? Um, it's definitely time for a change. Speaking of change, Iron Bark Fire Department. Jack. Alright. Iron Bark. They're staffing me to Iron Bark next month. The one after Roseburg? Yeah, I heard they have big staff cabins and less campers. Call me. With that, I'll call you back. How is it looking? Still on my way, Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today out of all out of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? I remember there's this diner while passing Roseburg. Alright. They have the best burgers in town. Oh, really? I could have had a burger? You have to try them out. I could really use a good meal before staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. So did you end up going? How was it? I'm here. Still eating. This is so good. Told you. <laughs> this food reminds me. You should send me the casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in this new lookout. Whoa. Yes. I'm on my way home. See you in a bit. Alright, um, so I'm going to exit that one. So I'll read that one when we get where we're going. I don't like that I can't go in here. I definitely know there's someone in there. I left my door open. I'm going to get stabbed in my neck while I'm driving. We're gonna die. Just prepared to die. Turn on my headphones. Yeah. It'd be pretty sweet just being single, living in an RV, dude. Except for I'm married with kids. I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing. I love my kids and my wife. Uh. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I went to the... Uh, what? Dude, I didn't get to read it. But I don't want anyone seeing the utter horror I've seen in these woods. Driving like... I am drunk. All right. I don't like how dark it is. Do I have a flashlight, man? You know, if this was me in real life and I went to open the thing and it was jammed, best believe I would kick the door off its hinges. And whoever I found in there would be in a for a world of hurt. Is this the cabin? 
What's up with the Blade Runner sound? That is so Blade Runner. Hello? Scream like a girl, dude. What the hell was that? <laughs> uh, you scared me. <laughs> I thought you were one of them. You scared me. One of who? What do you mean? Who are you talking about? May Lord have mercy. May Lord have mercy. What are you talking about, stick? Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm not one of the campers. Oh, I'm not a camper. You're Billy, right? Uh, I'm the new transfer fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Well, hang on. Let me check on that. All right. Dude, he scared the crap out of me. I was not, <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh, man. Oh, huh? Okay, pal. <laughs> You're good to go. You're staffed at the fire lookout, Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for this season. But here are your keys. Thanks, bud. You're the best. Don't scare me like that. You get smacked in the mouth next time. Let me open the trail gate for you. All right, bud. Thanks. Do I get a gun too, man? All right, bud. See you uh, when I see you. Dude, it is so dark. Missing people. Please stay on trail. I don't plan on going off trail. 11.32 p.m. All right. Why is my flashlight off? Oh, it was on. I just can't see none. All right. Tower 11. Frequency 155.92500. Uh, I don't know why I read that. Don't need to read it, I don't think. Got the little baby steps. He's like... I don't know what that was. There's Tower 11. Iron Bark, Tower 11. 170 feet. Lacey Trail. 3.2 miles. Gold Creek Trail, 0 0.4 miles. Alrighty. Living in Fire Tower is not a glamorous job. Uh, imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Alright. Go check that first. Take me a dump. So. Uh, my hands are full, so I gotta come back down. Oh man, Can you imagine being out here by yourself? Crap your pants. All right. Uh, where do I want to put the bag? Put the bag on the bed. All right. I was finally in my new home for the next month, a few months. Uh, let me go get some firewood. Get some wood real quick. Get the fire going. Alrighty, get the matches. Do I have to pour gas on it? We're about to catch the cabin on fires, guys. Here we go. 
There we go. Show we. We're gonna be toasty. I had a report for the night. Uh, okay. Static. Radar required was something. Okay, static. What am I doing on the computer? Oh my lord. Uh, command. Initializing. Starting Rainbow 98. Password. User Tower 11. Uh, checked Ironbrook Rule Flyer. Okay. Lights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guests in the lookout. Systems password is Ironbark Tower number. So would it be Iron... Okay, anyways. Refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. Remember to call your sister stations before you sleep. Iron Bark 11. Oh, I didn't type nothing. Iron Bark 11. Is that it? Sweet. Use your noodle. Bum bum. Alright, so take a sip. Good evening, Tower 11. How's your day? Good, okay. Um, console, Ironburg, trail map, service. Okay, emergency training, flash. Okay, there we go. Welcome to the state of the arts. New guy, haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? Uh. Who's this? Fire Tower 12. I saw your light turn on. Alright. Uh, you were watching. Uh, that's not important. Uh, thought I was going to be alone out here. You're never alone in these woods. I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Oh. Uh, thank so you. What? Your what? Name? Oh. Uh, oh, it's Jack. Jack Nielsen. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change. Uh, let's talk to the dude. I'm a transfer from Iron House. Experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. What do you don't even know me, dude? You got a fire going? The temperature is about to plummet. All you right. don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Sweet. Thanks for looking out for me, bud. It's nice to see Tower 11 alive again. All right. Did you report for the night yet? No. Pick this up. Put that right there. Put that right there. Did you report for the night yet? No, let Better me check in. It, Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. Right. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. All right. 346 minutes later. I'm so retarded. 46.5. Uh. Clear. My goodness. You copy, new guy? That took me forever. Uh, Classic, right here. I'm gonna sign off for the day. Alright. Tower 12, signing off. Alrighty, bud. Good night, new guy. Don't want the bed bug to bite. Uh, good night. Uh, are over and out. Okay. Um, time to go to sleep. All right. Hour in. Beeping. Why is the light off? What's up? Had to pee. Connor? 
Alright, well, I gotta go take a leak, so... Where'd I put my flashlight? The stuff's been moved. Hold on a second. Alright. I feel like... Uh, being left alone. It's unsettling. Space to pee. Pissing off of the balcony, bud. What's up? Making it rain. I'm gonna get a jump scare and turn around, dude. Expecting here, Jason Voorhees. Okay. What time did it say it was? Of course, it's three in the morning. All right, am I going back to sleep? Turn that off. Put that right there. Beautiful. Back to sleep. <clears throat> Night to. It's beautiful. Uh, it's just you and the wind. Man. Take a sip of that coffee. I don't drink coffee. It's 12 over there, right? Take a photo. It's beautiful. Alright. This would actually be a pretty sweet job, dude. Is my light on? Y'all see me good? Alright, take another photo. I'm gonna take a photo of, uh, what's it called? Oh, you can zoom in? Dude, how much coffee you got? Alrighty, what time is it? New guy, you copy? Hey, what's up, bud? This is Connor from Tower 12. You copy? Right. Yeah. Hold on, let me put this down. Turn it off for a second. I'm here. I'm right here, bud. Uh, that sounds more like me. Copy that, Connor. What's up? Son of a bitch! Nobody what? bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. What are you complaining about it for, bud? This is your job. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Uh, let me let me have a look. Let me see. Where's my my binoculars? Uh, where's uh, which way is north? Open that up. Oh, I see it. Uh, the smoke was white and active campfire. Alright. I need you to confirm. Uh, you yeah. Smoke up north? Yeah. You spot that white smoke up north? It yeah, I see it. The lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Oh, okay. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Uh, okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Yes, do you have any other details? Is it safe? Well, I'm not a sissy, so... Um, yeah, Stay that's... safe out there. Over and out. <clears throat> Over and out, bud. Over and out. All right, where's the bear spray at? Let me put the binoculars down. Put that right there. Bear spray... Take some Dawn Disc charging out there. There it is. Bear spray. Alright. Good to go. Oh. Now my eyes burn. Oh, hold on. Hit the light. I saw the shadow of the bird and it scared me. Do. Da da ba da ba do. 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 The Lacey Trail, he said, right? Uh, 
yep, Lacey Trail. Look, the floating canister. I'm gonna spray a bear right in the eyes. I didn't bring a flashlight. That might have been a massive. Follow the trail, lead me to the smoke. I don't have a. F I don't have a flashlight. Hopefully, there's a flashlight over here. Hello? I'll reply back in a second. Thank you, sweet, tender baby Jesus. Well, let me pick it up. Hello? I don't see anything that I can, like, click on. Well, you can have the murder victim, bud. See you later. That's a lake. I'm out of here. I need it to put out. Oh, man. Dude, uh, why don't I have my flashlight? I'm going to get jump scared so hard when I turn around. Now it's extra dark. Get rid of that. Get this. I'm out. I would be pissing in my boots. Please let me just go back. I need a flashlight. Nope. Not looking. Uh, as I hiked back to my own tower through the dark, clearly couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Back to the tower, dude. I'm gonna spray someone right in the mouth. Piss them off so they can kill me quicker. <laughs> Generator off. Uh... I had the I let I turned the what? I turned the I had to report to Connor about the vacant campsite. I literally I had these closed and the light was off. I'm gonna get jump scared when I go down there. Let me let me just do it now. We'll get the camp wood. Camp wood. You can tell I'm getting nervous. Like the flashlight helps. Please, please don't let me get jump scared. Oh, little bit of urine at the tip. <laughs> Start a fire. First, close that. Close, close that. Close that. Close that. Was 
that. And we go. I definitely didn't open those, did I? Slide off a little bit better. G. Oh no. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh my god. Okay, report. Uh, Connor, do you copy? Uh, Tower 12. Hey, Connor, do you copy? No. Son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> they never learn, do they? Uh, who are you talking about? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? For the third time this month alone. Anything okay. else you notice in those woods? Uh, mentioned the screams? <laughs> It was a manly scream, dude. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Uh, kids went missing in that about area? A month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. All right. No trace of them since. Uh, what happened to those kids? What does that have to do with campers? We don't know. Their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. No, I heard whistling. People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. Entities? What, a skinwalker or something? It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Oh, okay. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. Glad to be of service. Uh, that's unsettling. Yeah. I do, but absolutely not, bud. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Um, we'll keep me updated, bud. Over and out. Alright, over and out, bud. Alright, let me check the weather. Um, uh, it's 50.2. Okay, so it was... 50.2, 17 knots, uh, zero, no, son. Check those text messages in a second. Um, should be good to go, right? All right? Let me check those. Just in case you try to open the door. What the hell was that? Can I crouch? No, I can't crouch. Okay. Um. Okay. So, where is she at? Uh. I'll send those. A uh, view of my tower. Thanks for the recipe. My try tonight. Okay. I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look what I got home to. Lasagna. Okay. Uh. Pizza, pasta, bake. Okay. Mom made the same casserole recipe today. Num num. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, looking at the photos makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. Okay, didn't deliver. All right, so am I cooking? Let me see. What does it say to do? I was hungry. I was too hungry to go to bed without food. Okay, so. Three days later. Okay, what is that? What is that? It's dark as crap in here. New guy, you there? Yeah, what's up? New guy, you dropped it. What's up, dude? 
reported their ass to the authorities. All right. Don't what worry. did they say? Forest Service agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. Hope they can track them down and give them peace of mind. I doubt it. Do you what? I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. All right. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thanks, bud. Over twelve, signing off. Over. All right. Over now. I don't care what you got to say, bud. All right. Burn my little fingers. Put that right there. What was that? What was that? Okay. I like eating in bed, so I get stains on my... All right. Okay. Eating my food. How is he just holding this hot pan? I was already full. Okay. Let's go put this right here. Uh, I could have kept it in the refrigerator. Okay, well then pick it up and put it in the fridge, you idiot. Okay. Oh my god. There we go. Oh no. Put that back. Oh, whatever. Time to go to bed. I was... Oh, hell no. Yeah! <gasps> I promised I didn't think he was going to be there. I should have took the bear spray. Let's try the bear spray. You think that'll work? I'm gonna try the bear spray. I'm gonna spray him right in his mouth. You about to get the bear spray of... Oh yeah. Bear spray! What? Go away! There was something very strange about the night. Am I supposed to be hiding? Is he still out there? Uh, that's a big no-go. You gotta rebuke that, bud. In the name of Yeshua. You still up here? Gotta rebuke that, bud. That has no place here. I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. The only logical thing I could think is I was being... I couldn't... What? My brain. Okay, well, have a good day, bud. I'm going back to bed. Connor, do you copy? Do you copy? You Hello? Have any idea what time it is? Yes, I do, bud. There's something outside my door. There's something... Just couldn't wait until morning? No. Mention the skull. Tell you what, too, guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. Why, do pe why does people so stupid? Why doesn't anybody ever listen to anybody when they talk? I don't think these are kids messing around. Yeah, I died twice. The kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. Watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be 
money. When I meet you, Connor, I'm going to punch you in the mouth. Period. <laughs> this feels like some real ritual. This is serious. You don't understand, do you? Can I get carried away, new guy? We're in the middle of nowhere. That's where the freaks hang out the most. Here's what we'll do. I'll Guess you haven't seen the Bohemian Grove, long. have you, bud? You need to tune into a little info wars or something. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. It'll be morning before you know it. Try to get some sleep, Jack. Yeah, whatever. You eat a whole Johnson, bastard. Connor didn't make any sense. Can I lock the door? But there was something else that could have been done in the dark. What? I definitely misread that. Go to bed. I thought he was going to disappear, man. I really did. Uh, the next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids, but there was something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in these woods. <clears throat> What, what, what am I looking for? I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance, dude, or by scanning the dense density of the trees all around me. Okay. My paranoia of the woods are growing after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Flare? Why are these up? Whatever. Hello? Is anyone there? I, I need help. Please, someone answer. I feel so much better now that I know that that bear spray doesn't do anything. <laughs> Grab that, because I'm definitely not going out there. And I would rather see who's killing me than Hello? not be able Can to spray. Me? This is Jack at Tower Thank 11. Goodness. I'm lost, and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. Uh, take a deep okay, breath, okay. bud. What's I, going on? I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And, and now okay. it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... All right. I think I'm lost. Can you describe your clothes? What is your current location? What equipment do you have with I you? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and... In some of my camping equipment. Okay, can you describe your clothes? I'm wearing a red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. Okay, what is your current uh, location? I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail yeah, this surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. Yeah, that's what I figured you were going to say. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. What direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See I'm what? at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Uh, Let me scan my map and get back to you. Okay. Uh, he didn't say what trail to what trail he was on. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? I'm going to be honest. I had my suspicions on the left trail, but if you say so, right I just one guess. It is. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. Thanks for helping me through this. Uh, making the decisions in the dark can be challenging. Hope you reach back to the trailhead safely. I'm right here! What I do you hear mean? You. I hear your whistles. Uh, that's not what? me, bud. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not You're me. Freaking me out. 
Oh god. Holy moly! What took you so long in there? Definitely learn how to read, Josh. Um, you haven't been knocking for hours, you fruit. I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What are you up to, pal? I was assigned a lost hitchhiker. Just finished up on my report. Nothing much. At this hour? May the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got you your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. You must get the little sissy arms, bud. Uh, what were you going on about last night? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. Uh, I was required to investigate on a campfire. Smoke. Oh, Lord. Have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Why do you keep calling me pal? This I feel like you're insulting me. Bobcats and bears. You be careful there, pal. These woods aren't normal. And there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely, it's a busy job. Alright. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything alright? Oh lord, have mercy. Did you take a picture of it before cleaning it up? I didn't, th I didn't think about it. You know... You know it's best we don't dwell on the whale. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Okay. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies, man. Oh, my lord. Get up. Uh, I'll put this over here on the stove. Alright, I know I'm going to have to get my flashlight. Where is my flashlight? Dude, where is the flashlight? Uh, I was too hungry. Okay, well, I guess I can eat that. Oh, the microwave. I forgot people like to make things in microwaves. Why am I still crouched? You're too hungry to go down and... Uh, temperature is 56.4 One. L sun Escape. Let me grab the anemometer, or whatever it's called. I don't know where my flashlight is. It is 24 knots. Clear. Windy. There we go. Grab that. Close that. Pop a squat. Take a bite. Alright. Put that in the sink. Okay. Uh, I was getting cold. Yeah, my flashlight's gone. And it won't let me pick that one up. Well, 
This is where I die. About to run right into somebody. I feel it in my bones. Time to get killed. What are you doing? I almost pulled my bicep. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. You just gave me a heart attack. Who are you? Oh, my God. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. Oh, my Lord. Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas. No, dude, what's your name? You're about to get smacked in the mouth with this piece of wood. What are you doing here, bud? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Okay. Nice to meet you. Thought I'd say hi, the new guy everyone's been talking about. Nice to meet you. Do you, do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, trying to keep the communication lines open. I appreciate it. Oh, we must ensure that the right message reach the right places. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. Can I please go upstairs, dude? Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn. And no amount of prevention can stop them. Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. Alright, dude, please just go away. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleaning. A way for the land to purify itself. Alright, bud, we get it. Order out of chaos, your Illuminati, we got it. I should head back to the tower now. Have a good night, Jack. I didn't tell you my name. Hope you sleep well. But remember, I definitely didn't tell him my name. Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. I definitely didn't tell him my name. The guy gave me the creepiest vibes. Yeah, uh, him sneaking up on you would have did that. Close that up. Turn that off. Open that up. Put that in there. Put my flashlight right there. Take up the gasoline. I don't know why I'm using gas to start a fire. Drop that. Get this. Open. Light. Bada bink. Close this. Put that down there. Not down there. Smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. I'm on edge, dude. What are you talking you about? You there? Hold on, dude. I gotta pick up my matches. Tidiness. Oh my lord. Oh, I dropped. I thought I dropped it behind it. Oh, that works. You copy now. Uh, this is Jack. Finally, I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Went, went down to get some firewood. It doesn't exactly take ages to get just some firewood. I ran into the radio tower ran worker. Into who? The guy maintaining the nearby radio tower. What are you talking about, dude? What do you mean? Trying to yank my chain now. That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems, and its repair cost was deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Look, and who did I talk to? What you're saying is true. It could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. You think he's been listening? Possibly. Anyway, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Everything is forbidden to guidelines, dude. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. All right. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. All right, dude. Talk to you in the morning. Good night. Tower twelve. Signing off. All right. Over Whatever. Shut up. I don't like you. I'm punching the mouth. Alright, I guess this is bedtime. 
wake up in the middle of the night with a boner on my face. Uh, my unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself it was just a change of environment that I needed to get used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in these woods was not enough to cause any alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. Nine eighteen PM. You got, it. you got a minute? Sure. I'm well, listening. Good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. All right. No more snoopers, I guess. Okay. Thanks for letting me know, bud. Why does it not help it working? You know what? I don't what? have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Alright. Alrighty. Is that smoke right there? It is. What we got going on over here? Space. I definitely don't read sometimes. Take a photo. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm so dead, dude. Oh god. Oh, time to hide. Oh! Oh, <laughs> that scared me. Oh god. Get under the bed. Got the <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> I had to say it. Them janks were like this thick. <laughs> gotta go gotta go jack
Gotta go. Catch on the flip side, bud. Gotta go. Go. I'm dead. Dude, why are you looking at him, you... I'm dead. 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 Ah! Gotta go. I remember the... I remember the thing was locked. Oh. As the adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ... Look, Jack, we're all getting a little stir-crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities <clears throat> allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course, met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product, a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods the unease still sits heavy in my stomach although many years have passed the experience still feels very vivid in my memory my family thought i was making the whole thing up which is really out of my character but i know what i saw real or not after dark those woods can become a haven for illegal activities so if any of you plan going camping soon please be safe Not bad. It's pretty good. I died a couple times. <laughs> All right, guys. I want to just give props to Ray LL Studios. Beautiful. It was a great game. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Y'all be safe out there.